hi guys welcome to a day in my life so today i'm going to take you guys on i'm going to show you guys what what i do in a day basically is this i won't say this is a typical day for me but it's an interesting day so i might as well just show it <laughs> so welcome it is it's currently 6 47 i have a test at 9 a.m today it is currently 6 47 and i'm just going to set you guys up somewhere <laughs> So that I revise my test before it is nine. Ah, oh, the only downside is I can't eat breakfast before before the test. But anyways. I've just finished my <laughs> I've just finished my test this is like a mini rant reasons why I don't like online online test or online exam or whatever it is well thank god my last exam like all the tests I've been doing I've never had issues with it because you have this there's this um there's this extension that you need to activate or that you need to add to your chrome so that it's like the monitoring one so you have to turn your mic on turn your camera on because obviously you're doing it in your house now so they need standards they want to see what is going on anyways why did I open mine today? Like it was fine for my general exam. Every other exam that I've been doing was fine. And I opened it today. Only for it to tell me. Well, the first error that happened was that I I think it was my fault. <laughs> the first thing was that normally like I turn my camera off, my webcam is always off because of my classes. You never know. I might mistakenly turn it on. I should not be in a good state to be <laughs> to be seen on camera. <laughs> so it's always off. So the first thing is I didn't realize it was off. So I kept because you have to do the um authentication thing, show your face, show your ID and all of that. So every time I got to that place, instead of it to tell me my camera was off, it kept saying error, error, error. So I was thinking, what is going on? I realized my camera was off. So I turned it on and I tried it again. Nothing was happening. I went to check like there's a there's a um if you're having trouble all these fact questions that you can go to and follow instructions so i went there said to go to settings and everything i did all of that mind you this was like it's almost 10 minutes past nine almost 10 minutes my test started at nine almost 10 minutes past nine i was still there struggling with authentication ha i shall logged in i mean i went to the settings and did everything and it was still not working and that thing another annoying oh god i just used each factor and that annoying thing about it was it told me to close all my tabs like who does that shit it didn't do that for me for my january exam ah, all the tabs all the precious tabs that i've been keeping open i had to close everything that part was annoying i tried opening a new window like if i do it on a different window maybe it's not going to tell me to close my tab but it asked me to close my tab i should have closed everything i have to go and restore them because all those tabs they're precious precious memories <laughs> I should have did that. I went to settings. It was still not coming on. No. I went to check my mic. Maybe it was mic, not camera. I checked everything. It was not coming on. If I now read one place and I said, eh, I should close Chrome and restart. I said, already 10 minutes into test. But I'm still there. Restarting computer. <laughs> I should have restarted it to this nonsense thing. Should have worked. But the good thing is, it was 17 questions. Although they were like, it was multiple choice but like the last couple of questions about three of them there are multiple choice but those multiple choice in form of essays that you have to go through instructions work out calculations and all of those things but it's still multiple choice i know and i'm just going to carry on with my day thank god i've had my bath 
should I go downstairs to eat? I've not had breakfast, but should I go downstairs to eat? I'm too lazy to cook, but I'm supposed to cook because I'm going out in the evening and the probability of me eating when I go out is very slim. Although I'm going to get bubble tea. I don't know even one year has tried bubble tea. I think I'm addicted to these things. Like I love them. And I even got a smoothie maker thinking I can try to make it, but I don't have the bubble thing. But I like the milk. Last time I went to get one, I was staring at them, looking at the process that we don't have to make this thing at home, but it's like a machine. So I just got a smoothie maker. Maybe that will do like the blending, like the the shaking, the shaking bit. Yeah, maybe it makes sense. <laughs> Anyways, ah, should I cook? Should I not? I think I might. But if I don't, I'll just carry on with my lecture for today so that I will not carry it over because of test. I'll just complete it first. I, I was trying to come I'm back looking like I'm sleep deprived and I'm hungry. But anyways, food one. I made my food. So I'm going to eat now. <laughs> and just wondering, how long does it take you guys? Like how long does it take for you to cook? Like I have this spag and make the make the stew from scratch like how long does it take on an average to do all of this i don't i just want to know if i'm if, I, if i'm slow i just want to know. i say 45 minutes but hmm? i lie like an hour to finish cooking everything and to clean up and all of those things is that is that too much too much time or less time i don't know it is so bright i don't understand though why you guys I just finished dressing. I don't know why it's too bright. I don't understand camera settings. This light, I need to learn. But anyways, I'm not supposed to still be getting ready. But I'm just getting ready. I need to go now. <laughs> I have an appointment. Let me just quickly brief you guys about what I'm going for. I have an appointment for like... I have a dental appointment. So I want to get braces. I want to straighten my teeth, basically. <laughs> so I have an appointment. I already had one. Like I had like a call appointment. So I'm going with... I have two different options. I think the one with the least price is going to be my option. So I had one appointment this afternoon around 1 45 it was a call appointment and then i spoke to them and everything but their price was a bit ex not a bit like a thousand pounds more expensive than the other one the, the only thing the only convenient thing about it is that i think they are very thorough well at the other ones too they are thorough the convenient thing about it is it is in sunderland the other one is in newcastle so i have to choose between traveling down god i did my mascara today and it was everything is just everything is just wrong about this Oh look, but then, but then, the reason why I'm here, I don't know if to wear this jacket, like it is so thick, this is like that transition weird weather that I don't really know if it is, I know I'm going to regret it if I wear something light, but right now it is very very sunny, so it's going to be hot if I get out, well it can be deceiving, sometimes it is sunny and it is not hot. But then again, if I don't wear something thick, I'm because I'm going to be out late, I'm, so I'm going to regret it. If I come back, like towards the evening, it starts getting really chilly. And if I'm wearing something light, that's going to be, be a disaster. And I don't want that. So I think I'm just going to stick with the suffering for the afternoon. And Anyways, I'll see you guys. My mascara is a mess. I thought I knew how to do mascara until today. It is a mess. <laughs> but anyways, I'll see you guys. So, I don't know if it's just me. It's going to be really noisy. I don't know if it's just me, like every time I'm going out, after I finish locking my door, I double check. But I'm very sure it is not just me, that was so loud. I'm very sure it is not just me. After, after, you, after I lock the door, I'm going to try to open it and see if it, if it will open, to check that I properly locked it. But it's always locked, like I've never found an error. Today I double checked, I said, the door was not locked. I said, thank God for the spirit of double checking. That's how I've not locked my door and gone out. How's that? It's not Primark. There's a big Primark here. It's just just because I just want to go. 
so I'm going to go there and yeah from there I'll go home I don't just want to waste my tickets I mean I bought all of that I spent all of that money on tickets so I might as well just spend it and go out and I want to go there's a bubble tea place that I want to buy so I'm going to go there as well and yeah I'll see you guys in town the mental note to sell I don't like big crime nuts. they are too overwhelming Only for my phone to be on 20%, and I was like, let me finally plug my phone in to charge. I picked the wrong USB. Like, they are totally different USB, like, the colors are different, but how I managed to pick the wrong one, I don't know, don't ask me. So I picked the wrong one, and I, since I was in Primark, I thought I would just get a new one from Primark. So I was going to go and check out for, to pay for it, and I was like, Mariam, I don't have this money, four pounds to pay for USB. I have like three USBs at home. I have to buy a new one. Guess what I'm doing? I've just decided to open it. I've decided to open it and <laughs> I'm not charging my phone with it. And after it depends on how fast it goes. If it doesn't go too fast, I'll just I'll put it back. <laughs> like if it charges if it charges very fast, I'm going to I'm going to return it and not buy it. But if it doesn't, then I'll have to buy it. I'm sure the next person doesn't mind me using it before then. But anyways, that's the little update. I'll see you guys later. now back I don't, these are the reasons why i don't like going out like my tired is tired i can't even start to explain i first just be in my room and be indoors 24 7 and stuff like not 24 7 but at least no stress i've been out since around 2 45 i just got back like 30 minutes ago this is two, currently 2 18 i entered like around that i said 2 18 this is 8 past 8 i got home like around that 8 ish time my tired is tired. Not like I did anything, no. But it's just when I go out, I get headache. And I have, speaking of lessons, I have a lesson at 9.30 tomorrow morning. So I need to sleep early today because I am tired. Because I have to wake up early. Good. Anyways, I just thought to do a recap of how my day was. I think I didn't really talk to you guys about what I was going to do and all of that. So I had a consultation today. I don't know. I think I'm just crazy. So I want to get, I want to get braces. I'm not comfortable. I don't. I don't know. I, I'm still not comfortable looking looking directly into. I'm still not comfortable looking directly into my camera lens. I think it's because when I'm talking to people, I don't make direct eye contact, except maybe it's in class. But ordinarily, I tend to look around. That's the same thing I do with my camera. <laughs> I look around, but I need to start staring into the lenses. I'm going to get used to it. So I, I had a consultation today. So. I, as I think I mentioned this earlier that I want to get my teeth straightened. I want to get my teeth straightened. 
it sounds like I'm crazy. Everybody keeps saying your teeth are fine, your teeth are fine. But it's just one of those things, you know. The thing with insecurities, eh? No matter how much people tell you it is fine, you're still going to have them. It has to come from deep within before you can accept those things. But anyways, I'm going to get braces, and that thing is not cheap. But I'm going to do it because I've I've wanted it for the longest time. I'm not going to show you my teeth. Like I'm not going to. You will probably see my teeth like I talk on camera. <laughs> But I'm not going to zoom in and tell you the things that I feel insecure about, things that I don't like. But anyways, I'm finally getting braces. And I'm not doing Invisalign. That's the another big thing. Invisalign is a bit more expensive than braces. If you want me to make a video about this whole process, because I think now I'm sure that I'm going through with everything. I'm very sure that I'm going through with everything that I'm doing. I, I'll add my appointment to you. I think the next appointment I think the next appointment I'm going to be having is to have my braces fitted in my mother will probably think i'm crazy i think all that money it's not like i have the money cash so so let, let me tell you so i've always wanted to do it since like 2020 so I've, girl do i have the money no i don't i think it would it would have probably been cheaper if i was living in nigeria but i live in the uk now i can't go to nigeria to do it so anyways when i moved here i thought when i moved here before i started working i thought the moment i start working i'm going to save up and get braces so when i started working I <laughs> this is a bit of story time. <laughs> so when I started working, I feel like I was saving. I was saving but not specifically for braces. It was just one of those things. Save. And then I thought, oh, I'm finally going to get braces. Since I'm working, I can now pay for this thing. So I thought I was going to do it and I started checking the price for braces and I realized it was so expensive. And I thought, mm, I am do really want to spend all of this money on getting braces. So I thought it was going to like I thought I thought it's the thing that is going to like like it's going to die. You know those kind of things that over time you get over it. But I'm not getting over it and I might as well just do it now. Like I might as well just do it and forget about it. If I had done this since like that 2020 that I wanted to do it, I'll probably be done with the treatment now. Like I'll probably have my supposedly perfect teeth that I want. I'll probably be done now. But I'm still here just starting and the thing is they have payment plan you don't have to pay everything cash down so i had a consultation today this is like my final consultation i had like um my teeth can and all of those things the next thing is to get pay a deposit and i'm i'm pretty sure i'm not going back i'm just saying it like i feel like i'm telling i'm telling you guys because i'm looking for someone to convince me not to do it but it's like i'm already set on doing it i'll probably make the deposit tomorrow so the thing is i don't have to pay the whole amount at the same time it's a monthly payment plan and i, I picked I, I picked like the 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 orthodontist the orthodontist that i'm doing with the orthodontist that i'm doing with they have like the 12 months and the 18 months payment plan so i picked the 18 months payment plan so that's probably like like a hundred and something pound every month that being said, I don't say the price of the, <laughs> I don't say the price of the um, of the braces. So I, when I did my research, I went with two orthodontists. So I was like, I'm going to go with the process, like the consultation and everything with these two people. So whichever one is, if I the one I feel like I like the service more or maybe the price is lower, that's the one I'm going to end up with. So these guys that I went to today. That was the first um, consultation I had, but it was a video call and it was quite, it was sort of thorough, but there's little to, there's, there's a limit to what they can do on video. So I put my next appointment. So yeah, I put my next appointment with them, which was today. And then after the appointment, I went to the next, to the second orthodontist and theirs was a physical one. So when I had that physical one and I had to go in for the next appointment, but I missed my appointment, so it made it kind of like a long period. I missed my appointment, so I had to go book another appointment. So I had my final appointment with them and I now had a phone call with them today. The phone call was to discuss the payment and the, like basically just to talk about the adjustment, like what, what my, what I want and what is achievable, do you get that kind of thing, just to talk through it. It wasn't, like it was nice. And they gave me the price it was around that three thousand five hundred ish. Like it had like different things. Like there are different options. Either you go for the ceramic or you go for the metal or those kind of things. And I said I didn't want the visa line because I'm going for it. I'm going in. Let me just get the braces in and get it done with. I know it's going to be very weird and awkward. At this my old age, having braces that's weird. But anyways, why do I talk like I'm? A <laughs> why 
I talk like I'm an, like I'm an old woman, I'm an old woman. Please, I'm not old. But anyways, it's just I just feel like like most times when I think about braces, I think about people in their teens, and I'm, I'm clearly not in my teens. I was waiting to hear the price from them because the other orthodontics, like the moment I had my first appointment, they already gave me a price, so I knew what it was. And <laughs> fortunately for me, I mentioned to them. So when I had that consultation, consult. So when I had that consultation, I said to the person that I had my um meeting with and i told her i have another consultation with a different orthodontist like just to compare and to see which one i'm going to end up going with and she was like oh we can offer you a five percent discount so it is good to mention it's just like a just a little sprinkle a little bit of competition into it so they said they can give me five percent discount today when i was talking to those other guys on the phone and i mentioned to them that i was going to like i have another consultation with a different orthodontist this evening i was expecting like a little bit of discount too did not say anything i said oh, okay then that after my um, consultation i can make the decision about which one i want to go for then i asked her if there was like a discount any student discount anything like that she said no they don't do discounts like they have a fixed price and the thing is between these ones these ones that have a fixed price and the ones that gave me a five percent discount their price difference is like a thousand like a thousand almost almost a thousand pound so the ones the ones that give me five percent discount without the discount is about two thousand eight hundred between two thousand eight hundred and three thousand ish so that's like five hundred pounds difference but they gave me a five percent discount so it's going to come down to like around two thousand six hundred ish so almost almost i'll say almost a thousand depending on what plan as i said depending on whether i, went, I go for the ceramic or whether i go for the um, still one but i said i'm not going for ceramic i'm just i'm guessing braces like everything's still going to be visible why pay extra cash i'm just going to get the steel one and get it over with like i'm going to i'm going to wear mask around maybe i'm going to wear mask because i was asking how long the treatment is she was telling me it's about 12 months ish but it can go over that 12 months is basically a year but it can go over that so that's how that went and i think i'm going to go with it i'm going to probably make my deposit tomorrow it's just one of those things. So I feel like I feel like I'm waiting for someone to tell me that Mariam, you're crazy. Maybe it's a little bit of craziness. But then again, in as much as I'm waiting for someone to tell me that, I don't think um I don't think I want to go back like I think I already made my decisions. I think I already made my like I know this is what I want to do. So someone telling me I'm crazy, I just want someone to affirm it that I'm crazy. Maybe maybe that's what I'm looking for. But it's not going to change my decision. I'm still going to go through with it. My, I know my mother for sure is going to think I'm crazy and for someone that doesn't work for someone that is a broke ass I'm a broke student I'm going in with this that means I have to get work by fire by force actually not that I have to get like the reason I'm doing it now is because I already like I already made plans of starting to of starting work I already made plans of starting work so it's like okay I can do this now and I probably I could have I probably can have, could have like if I had done this in 2020 I could have afforded it better. I be I could. I had. I was working steadily then. At least I didn't have school. But now I have school to consider. So the amount of work that I can do is going to be reduced. But no matter how much reduced it is, I have to work to pay for these braces. So wish me luck <laughs> and let me get shoes <laughs> to work so that I can pay for these things. But anyways, I think I've rambled like this is like twelve minutes. How will I edit this video? Wow. If you notice, <laughs> tell me how many times my eyes wandered around. I said I was going to be staring at the lens. I can't. It's just very hard. But anyways, I think I'm going to end this vlog here. And maybe the next time you'll be seeing me, I'm going to have my braces fitted in. Well, I don't think so. Wish me luck. And if you enjoyed this kind of video, let me know. I mean, my days are not usually this interesting. But once in a while, I have things happening. Like today. Like usually, I'm just indoors. I was supposed to actually go for my food shop today. But my tired is tired, as I said. And I have a driving lesson in the morning. So, I'm not going to go for that food shop. You'll probably see it in a different video. Because I'm planning on making a video of how much you spend as a student in the UK. For international students and people that are planning on coming to the UK. As a single person, how much you spend in a month plus your rent. That sort of thing. So if you're interested in videos like this, if you're interested in daily vlogs, let me know. Leave it down in the comment section and I will let you know. I like leave it down in the comment section, give this video a thumbs up and I will make more videos like that. At least the days that I have interesting things going on. Plus I have my pharmacy ball coming coming twenty is it twenty fifth? Yeah, twenty fifth of March. That'll be next is it next Friday? Yeah. I'll probably vlog that too. Get ready with me. And yeah, I'll see you guys later.
bye please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up share with friends and if you enjoy it let me know in the comment section let me know please let me know and share with your friend tell your friends tell your friends subscribe to my channel and support this girl thank you for watching bye